Hey fellow Lab Rats, this is Rebecca from the Lab Rat YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be demoing how to perform a Cryptococcus antigen test. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to perform the Cryptococcus antigen lateral flow assay uh, by the company called IMI. Um, so this is a lateral flow assay used to detect the cryptococcal antigen in whole blood, serum, plasma, and also in cerebral spinal fluid. So this is a dipstick immunochromatographic assay, again, produced by a company called uh, IMI. So cryptococcus infection is caused by the bacterium's uh, cryptococcus neoformans and cryptococcus uh, gati. Uh, so cryptococcal infections uh, can occur in immunocompromised patients and most specifically with patients that uh, have an HIV infection. So this test specifically can detect cryptococcal infections before they lead to cryptococcal meningitis, which is deadly for the patient. So it comes in this little bag here and it comes with a couple of different materials. Uh, we have a specific diluent for this test we have a positive control, obviously, because I do not have a patient that has cryptococcal meningitis currently, thank goodness uh, for them. So we're gonna use a positive control uh, to give a positive result. And then it also comes with the actual dipsticks. So I've uh, provided testing aliquots. These are made of plastic. And what I'm gonna do first here is label my positive and negative controls. So this one is the positive one, put that one here, and this one is the negative. Okay, so negative over here, positive over here. So um, the procedure says that we can add one drop of diluent or 40 microliters of diluent. Um, so I'm gonna do one drop in each of these. One, one, okay, and then, we're supposed to add one drop or 40 microliters of the specimen. Again, uh, I don't have a positive patient, so I'm going to be using the positive control. Uh, positive result, positive control. Okay, I actually put two drops in there just to make sure it's 40 microliters, okay. And then, because I don't have a negative control, um, I'm just gonna add extra diluent. Okay. All right, so drops of each. And then the next step is to remove the dipstick. So this dipstick has arrows pointing down on it, uh, downward on the strip. That means I'm going to drop them like this into the patient sample. So drop that one in here and I'm gonna drop this one in here. And then I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. After 10 minute mark, I will come back to you guys. Okay, it's been 10 minutes for our Cryptococcus antigen testing. So let's take a look at the results. So this was my negative control. Yes, all right. So we have one line in the control window. So there's not two lines, so that means it's negative. And if we had no lines, that would be an invalid test because remember, we need to have a positive control line. So the control line needs to be there no matter what. So this is a negative result. Excellent, so we would be labeling this patient as negative. Let's take a look at our positive patient. Oh, that's beautiful, okay, good. So there's two lines there. That top one is the control line and that bottom one is the, the positive patient result. So this means that uh, this patient has uh, cryptococcal capsular polysaccharide antigens and they would be positive for cryptococcus. So this patient really resulted as positive for that. All right, excellent. Hopefully this video helped you. If you liked it, please like it and then also subscribe to my channel. And if you have any uh, questions about this particular test or want to um, ask me to perform another video on a specific test or, or laboratory topic, please let me know down in the comments. Alrighty, until next time.